Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Affinity Designer and Compound Pass. Here's a compound pass in here. You can make some really complex designs or relatively straightforward designs using compounds. So let's remove that completely. Now, sometimes when I've removed it like that, it leaves the compound there. Luckily, this time it didn't. So let's go with, and you can use any shape. So I'm just going to go, let's go with a rectangle. Rectangles are really easy. Now I'm going to go with this color. Compound paths are one color only. It's a compound. If you've got blue or green or anything inside, doesn't make any difference. So if I go and create another, I'm just going to create inside. It doesn't have to be, it can be outside, anywhere. Just create that design and I can change the color. Doesn't matter. It's not going to use that color. So I've got red there. So select both. You can do that over here in layers. So go over here to view, studio and layers. And with that selected, what you can do, you can then go to layer menu and create compound. This is the that's the key command, create compound. So create compound. And you can see at this point, everything's disappeared, which is not very good. But what you can see, you can expand this now. And it says compound. You can rename that if you want. I'm not, I'm just going to keep it compound. Obviously, if you've got a very complex layer design, you might want to rename it. What you can do, you can select either one. Now, of course, you can create more than that. So I've just got that one. And you can see that's slightly smaller because I wanted that. It's still live, so you can still modify it. I can push it up to the right to the edge, so I can do that. But what you can also see when you go here, you've got this little option here. You can also just remove it if you don't want it at all. But you can go over here and you've got a little sort of thing. It's a little plus at the moment because it's adding. But what you can do, you can subtract, you can intersect, and you can exclude. Now, sometimes it's not particularly obvious when you're doing it with just one or two bars. So I'll show it, go through them later. So subtract, let's go for subtract first. So you've got subtracted. So that's subtracted from the top one. And that's the order it goes from the top. That's the first one. And then up to the next one. And then obviously if I create, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create another one. What you can do is hold down the alter option key. That's on the keyboard. Quite often I get asked that, where's the alter option key? It's next door to the control or command or whatever. It's in that group down the bottom, generally. I've had keyboards where it's been all over the place. Sometimes it's been on like right at the top. So just to confuse things. Now hold that down and you can duplicate the file. And you can see when you duplicate that, because it's in a part of the compound and it's above this bottom one. The bottom one doesn't have anything. It doesn't have an entry. All the ones that you add from now on will be within that compound, will have that plus, minus, whatever. And it defaults to the one that was originally. So if it was minus, it defaults to minus. So you can move that around, you can still continue to move that, you can rotate it, all those sort of things. But what you can do, you can change it. You make it to add. Now, what you can do, you can do resize it. And as soon as you add, you can see as you add, it will, and let's just make that slightly bit bigger so it makes it more obvious, so you can see it. Okay, so that's the top one. And as you move it around, it's add, that's the add option. And you can see it joins. So if I remove that, you can see it's joined. Nicely, and you can select that. Now, however, when you select at any point, it becomes compound. You have to go back to the layers. That's the key panel. So layers, then you can move it around. So just move that around. And you can also, if you want to, again, hold down the alter option key and you can add. And also what you can do, you can go over here and select those and you can go over here to align. So maybe align center, so then, and that sort of thing. And you can manipulate those, obviously independent. Uh, just move those around and so on and so on. Also, we can do, you can go and select one of those and you think, you know what, I don't want that to be plus, I want that to be subtract. So that one's subtract, those other ones are plus. And you can still move it around. And you can see as you move it around now, I've got that design, so you can create some quite combinations there. But also I'm just gonna go say, select that one now. So select that one, and I can go to intersect. Now, obviously with intersect, with that one selected, intersect, everything else is removed, because that's the only bit. So as I, let's resize that bit. So you can move it around. It's like a, a view onto something. Just, that's all you see, the intersect. You can move that around, you can see the rest, and you can leave it there, and that's, you've got that design. The rest of the design is still there, still live. And also what you can do, you can turn around and say, you know what, I don't want that, I want to exclude. 
and that will just exclude obviously the areas that it crosses over that like that and there but any area where it's crossing something that exists it will exclude and you will suddenly get that gap i must admit most times i say i use subtract and add but it's quite nice it's that's more personally more useful but some nice combinations can be done with the other one and again like so you can do that you can then go through this hold down the alter option key again and you can exclude and you can create some very and now sometimes you have to be careful because if you go too far that one's too long and you can just go like that and you can create some oops don't want that hold down the alter option and you can resize it so you can make it make it thinner there and you can vary it in numerous ways like that so you can create some very interesting combination designs now what you can do you can also remove things from it as well so you look here and you think you know what i don't want that rectangle now i can just simply remove it like that but also i can just drag it out so the rectangle and you can see it becomes obviously what the old color was now what you can also do and sometimes not very successful with this just drag it back in again sometimes just yeah you just want to get to that point so it's in that design and if you want it to be the same position as before, you have to drag that one down. Just reordering, it does sort of have a tendency to put it in the wrong place, I've always found. And then you have to just re-jig re these, uh, the ordering of this. So you've got this design like this. And you can keep continue to modify. And you can continue to modify this. So select up here, the compound. You know what, let's say I don't want that. I want it to be width a bit bigger. So you can change the width. I'll move that around. You can also change, obviously, you have it dotted and all that sort of thing. Will it let me do that? Sometimes there's some options it just will not let you do. No, obviously this one, it does not let you do that. Obviously, clearly you can only just use those. That should be interesting. Let's brushes as well. No idea. I haven't tried it. So uh, let's see, view, just quick do it, why not? Brushes. Yep, so you can still use brushes. That's useful. Sometimes there's certain things that you suddenly think, oh, I should be able to use this, and then it doesn't, just doesn't do it. You know. Just have to uh, work with what the thing does. However, so you've got compound. Well, what you can also do, of course, is you can compound a compound. So you can actually group that. So duplicate. And you've got two compounds now. Now, of course, you can see there's no add or all there. So it's just, just going over the top at this point. But you can select both, set both like that. And it doesn't have to be over top at that point. What you can do then is go through layer and create compound. So now you've got a compound there. What you can do, you can go to that compound, it's that one that was already there, and you, as you see, you move it over there. Again, it does exactly the same thing. You can just go over and you can see it joins nicely with the other one, all becomes one part. So you can resize that. Decide, oh, I want that to be a bit smaller. Maybe change the angle. You can keep combining those. So you can say, you know what, I want it to be more complex design like that. So I can do that. So on and so on. You can create a very complex design, and these are all made up of compounds. Again, you can set the top compound, and you can re recolor it. So maybe you decide I want that. Then what you can do, you can turn around and say, I want a compound of compound of a compound. So what you can do, you can go and duplicate that design. Now let's duplicate it over here. Yeah, duplicate there. And now I've got this stuff. Now, the more and more complexity, of course, you even now I've just started to notice it, it slightly drags a little bit more than it did before. So you can move that around. See, at this point, it's not a compound. So select both, go to layer again, and create compound. And now that's compounded. So again, got that compound, you can select that and you can move that around, move that inside. And of course, what you've got this little plus and minus still. So what you can do, you can go subtract. So you can subtract the whole thing and you can move that around there and it obviously goes over the area, it will subtract from it or it can use intersect. So you can move that around to create interesting designs. And again, you can leave that, go off like that. And you can always go back to add or subtract and move that around as well and rotate and so on and so on. And also at the same time, all at this point, all of these features are all still live. So the rectangle, you can still select that individual rectangle. That's very tiny, but you've got that original tech. And you can still move that around. You can still move this one around. 
So again, you can bring more or less in, depending obviously how it works out, the mathematics of it. So what I'm just going to do now, I'm just going to quickly go get rid of that lot. What I'm going to do is something with a star. So a star design. So you've got a star design there. And you can do the same. Hold down the ultra option key, duplicate that, and resize. Select both, and then go to a layer and create compound. So now you've got a compound again. What you can do, expand that, and then select the star there. Now you can also, it's live. That's the key thing. So this is live, so I can say subtract. I can still move it around. But also what I can do, I can go over here. So I can turn around and say, you know what? I want that to be, instead of just a standard thing, I can move, and I can still move that around. Also, I can, of course, resize that. Let's just resize that a bit. And I can turn around and say, you know, hold. Hold that down, chop that out, and chop that out. So you can create very, very intense star designs. So that star design there is chopped up and made up with compound there. Now, of course, with that, what you can do, you can hold down the ultra option key. Bash, let's not do that one. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new design. So create a there on top. Now, if I put that compound on, on top there, let's just drag that above. So the compound is now above. So you can see through. Now, obviously, it's both red, so it's not going to be helpful. So let's just go for green. So you can see it. You can see through that, obviously, the background to the circle. And what you can do then, also, you turn around and say, you know what? I want this ellipse to be. Now, sometimes, I must admit, this seems to have a bit of a slightly more quirkier feature. I've had a few issues with it slightly. But, but you can drag this in and put this into the design as well. Now, that's obviously becomes the mask. So I don't want that. I want that. Let's just put that there. You just want it in that layer. That's the key thing. Just in between bit where you've got it, the whole line appears. If it's slightly indented, that's not what you want. What you can then do is you can select that star and you can move it down. And again, you can just move. As soon as you see what you can do, just drag and you can see it just becomes a whole line. And that's just below it. So just move it. Now the star is right at the top. And again, because you put the ellipse in the whole thing, you get this plus minus. And obviously at the moment it's just plus. Well, I want it to subtract. Obviously it removes a lot, but intersect. So intersect. And that's the area that's intersected. Obviously if I reduce the size, I can move it around, focusing on a particular area. I can just get one of the star spokes. And I can move that, or maybe go to exclude. So I can do exclude it and create some interesting designs like that. So I've got that design there. Or what you can do, of course, is you can duplicate that design. And you can create multiple compounds again. And if you want to, you can compound all those, let's just select all of those into one great compound. Now, what you can also do, of course, is that they're still live. So you can go down here to stars, and there's a star there. With that selected, you can see you've got the points, and you can change the points, so more or less, or whatever the item you might see, more or less, depending on how it's all structured. But you can select any of these sort of designs and change them there. You can also go to that star, you can see it, oh, there's a the star there, and you can see number of points there, 36. You can reduce it down if you don't want that many. And you can always drag out. If you think, you know what, I don't want that star there. Well, you can always select it, and you can just drag it out. And then it's, it's not in the, in the compound anymore. Well, I just tried to do something and it didn't work, so I've just got rid of all that. However, I will be doing another video on some of the other features you can use with this compound later, some things like the contour, etc., and pass various transforms and those sort of things. I will do a separate video on that. Well, I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials all the time about Photoshop, Affinity Publisher, Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo, Illustrator, and many other applications. If you've got any questions, any things that I've done wrong, actually, one of the things is compounding. I haven't been particularly using it. So, Luckily, someone put a comment and said about the compound. I thought, well, let's investigate. And it is a great feature and one that I really should not have neglected. So uh, you learn something every day, which is the key thing. Also, please, so please put some comments. Always appreciated. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.